Hi, this is Annie from Wild Birds Unlimited in Westchester, and we are getting very excited for this weekend's Great Backyard Bird Count. And for those of you who are interested in participating, and we hope that you do, I thought it would be nice to show you some um, different types of feeders that you can add to your yard to help attract more birds. So I'm going to start out with our foundational feeder. So you want to get a foundational feeder that holds a large blend of seeds and a large amount of seeds so that you're not going to have to refill it all the time. And you want something that can hold a lot of birds. So with this feeder, this is a hopper feeder, and as you can see, you can fill it up and also that it has these large perching areas for some of the bigger birds like your cardinals and some of your woodpeckers to land on. And then we have down here a finch feeder. So the finch feeder, they have the tiny little ports and those are especially attractive for your goldfinches, house finches, um, downy woodpeckers, and even chickadees will go to these. I have um, sunflower chips in mine right now, but you can also put like thistle, niger in it too. And then over here, this is a suet feeder. So suet is especially attractive to woodpeckers. And you can see here, there's also a tail prop on it. Tail props are really nice for woodpeckers because they like to prop their tails when they eat. Um, so down here, if you're looking for something kind of easy, I would suggest doing a ground feeder. So ground feeders um, are nice because they can hold a large amount of birds. It can hold small birds and big birds. Right now I have millet in mine and millet is really attractive to um, dark-eyed juncos which are here during the winter as well as morning doves and some of your other sparrows. But if you're looking for something that's super easy um, and you can put it pretty much everywhere, I have seed cylinders. So seed cylinders, they are compressed seeds. And this one I have up here right now actually has hot pepper in it so that the squirrels tend to leave it alone. Um, and this is really easy. All you have to do is you just um, unwrap it. There's a hole in the middle and you can just slide it right down on um, different types of feeders. So this is a really simple one. You can hang it in a tree or you can hang it on a shepherd's hook. So if you have any other questions about any of the feeders that you saw or any other types of food, please give us a call at Wild Birds Unlimited in Westchester or Springboro and we'll be happy to help you.